Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a trick that uh, I just came up with on the fly. I thought I'd share it with you and I don't even know it's going to work, uh, but I tend to like trying these things and filming it to see what happens. Um, so I came out this morning and I found that one of my tomato transplants that I put in the ground had tip, tipped over. And on closer inspection, I'm not going to bring the camera in because I'd have to dig up the soil a bit more, but, but and it'd be hard for you to see anyway, but um, right at the soil level where the plant meets the soil, uh, the, uh, the stem of the tomato has been gnawed on. So the diameter of the stem is maybe one half or one third what it should be. Um, so that's like a cutworm or some sort of caterpillar. There's something in the soil that was gnawing on this thing. And, uh, you know, it's, the chances for this plant are not good. Let's put it that way. Uh, now I, I could really, I, I've already put it in the ground. I've already disturbed the roots once. I don't want to disturb the roots again. Um, but one thing about tomatoes is that their stem can send out, the, the, you know, like the, the bottom four inches of the stem can send out new roots. Uh, if you've planted tomatoes for any length of time, you notice that. So I thought, you know, the stem's been weakened. There's a problem there. Why don't I bring the soil up around the plant, right? So uh, what I'm going to do is just nip off the bottom two pieces here. See, it's got no integrity at all. It's been weakened. I can just see it looks it looks like a you think of a tree and a lumberjack you know whacking away you know t taking wedges out of the uh, tree. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little uh, sort of barrier just using whatever I can find here around this uh, around this plant. Just some you know just finding rocks and whatever I can find here sort of hold the soil up like so, like that. Just add some soil all the way around it, like that. Almost like a flower pot, right? That's the idea, creating a little, little flower pot. So I'm just bringing the soil up on the plant, just using this stuff here to sort of hold it in. Usually my soil seems to stay put fairly well using whatever I got here. I should have brought more rocks in, but this should be fine. Like that, okay? I'm just creating a flower pot in a sense. So hopefully the connection between the plant and the roots that are down in the ground stays intact. I don't know, and I don't know if that, that pest is gonna come back and have another go at it. I really don't know, right? But with this approach, at least I've given the plant, and I'll pack this in a little bit so the rain doesn't wash it away too bad. Put a little bit of mulch around it like this to keep it from drying out. But hopefully this plant will, uh, there's some weeds, weeds are good mulch, they're fine. Hopefully this plant will survive this attack and keep going. I'll put some water on this and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you come over, I mean, if you can repill, if you can, usually in an ordinary year, what I would do if I saw a tomato plant like that is I'd pull, pluck it out and stick another one in. But uh, right now, probably because of the pandemic, uh, I'm finding it's very difficult to get uh, transplants and things like that. So it, it, it sort of inspired me to see maybe there's a way to save a plant that's been damaged like that. Uh, maybe it can be brought back. I don't know if this will work or not, but... Uh, I thought it was worth a try, right? So uh, we'll see. Uh, hopefully there's enough connection between the, the plant and the existing roots to keep providing water and nutrients to this foliage while it sends out new roots from the base of the stem and gets growing like that. So I'll follow up at a later date. And you know, I do garden tours every month every, anyway, and that sort of thing. But I'll follow up at a later date and see if this worked at all. I mean, it would be, it, I'll know if this worked within a matter of probably days because it's sunny and it's warm and the plant needs water. If it can't get water out of the ground, it's gonna, it's just gonna die. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I hope you found that interesting. Give you some food for thought. If any of you have actually tried this technique, I mean, I haven't read this anywhere. I just, it just dawned on me today. Why don't I just bring the soil up around the plant and have a means to hold it there and see if that works. So if any of you have actually tried this and made it work, let, let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to see. But um, anyway, I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast at maritimegardening.com. And until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.